hey guys good day everybody once again i'm here at the scene of the crime acting like uh, more than a blogger it is like a reporter scene of the crime anyway the concrete pump that uh, you saw in the earlier part of this video is our topic I want you guys to know on how to set up its outriggers so what is outriggers okay for those who are uh, working with a concrete pump right now and uh, for those who want to learn on how to operate a concrete pump so this is the first step you must know okay we will go back what is outriggers outriggers is a beam which uh, extend from the lower part of the trucks or a crane or a like this a concrete pump to increase stability so guys uh, i will make a demo in this video but uh, before uh, we go on uh, setting up uh, uh, let me tell you something about uh, this uh, concrete pump so this is a 43 meter Dongyang concrete pump made in South Korea. And uh, the system of this concrete pump is uh, almost like uh, like some uh, Potsmaster or Eber beam. So like uh, this is a German technology. And uh, also, uh, it is uh, mounted on a Mercedes-Benz trucks. So guys, uh, I will now uh, start uh, the engine. And uh, I will show you on how to activate the power take off the power take off is the or what they are called PTO is the system used to shift shift I will check in the Google shift from driving to pumping So guys, uh, this is the power takeoff. So we must freeze the clutch and switch it on. Then you can see the light lit up. And uh, our gear should be on the gear number seven with the splitter put on a high speed so this is number seven so now the pto is working now or the pto is being activated By the way guys, this is uh, the remote control we are using in the concrete operation. So let me show you on how to, how it works. So now the 
light is uh, blinking as you can see so the control now is here once you open the you activate the PTO shift the gear to number 7 switch on the remote control all function here on the truck is deactivated so the control now is here so let me show you the engine RPM so this is the engine RPM so it, it's working Okay guys, uh, I will uh, uh, show to everybody later on regarding this remote control. So for now, we have to go down and we have to set up our outriggers.
And now, uh, on the last part of this uh, video, I would like to tell you three things to keep in mind. So, number one is the outrigger pads. Sitting and outrigger pads must be on a flat uh, surface and uh, make sure that the balance of the units and the weights are uh, equally divided and for the number two one to one rule one to one rule if you are sitting up close to an excavation one to one rule must be followed so it means uh, if excavation is one meter you must be away from the excavation by one meter so it is one to one one is to one measurement from one to one rule shall be made at the edge of the outrigger pads which is nearest or which is close to the excavation and the distance from the edge should be increased if the ground condition appear unstable and uh, for the number three guys which is the last, uh, but uh, certainly not the least. Warning signs and decals. As a safety precaution, there are warning signs and decals stamped on your units. So, these are warnings that should be followed all the time to prevent possible accidents which will be resulting to damage of property serious injuries or uh, even death so we must follow safety procedures always so Thank you guys for uh, watching this video and uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit like and share and uh, God bless us all and more power. Everything is
Now